So first of all, we need to get rid of um, the number one question which everybody asks me on the course. I'm getting lots of emails about, and that is, is it possible to get a job in today's environment? We know about all the tech layoffs of the past year and it's a brutal environment out there. So to be honest, I can't answer that question. I don't know the whole industry, but what I will share with you is that things, like it's a wave. There will be a time in the near future where the tech industry goes through a boom and there goes through another hiring process, even if that's in a couple of months time. But the place that you need to get yourself to to do that is you need to be ready to pounce on that opportunity and be the first one there with all the skills ready to go when these jobs become available because they do come in waves. So use a downtown like this to get your skills ready because that's the number one thing. And that's kind of the number one thing that I'm going to talk about uh, what I would do if I went back in time. Because the, the main thing that I've learned is actually it's... Um, it's all in your mind, really. There's no, no one's born with a gift for anything. That includes sports, that includes uh, being a great designer or, or being a coder. It's all about the amount of time that you put in and um, what you really sell to the world is your skill set, your knowledge and your, your personality, which is how you uh, work in a, in a work environment. So when I started, everybody went through the same route, which was university. And that's a free four year course with a couple of years prep before it doing something like graphic design. So in the last 10 years, a lot's changed. There's boot camps now where you learn more industry ready skills and you learn specifically how to become a UI designer, a UX designer um, with boot camps. And they're really great because they help you get kind of the knowledge needed for the industry. You could learn yourself or you could learn, um, I, I, I teach a boot camp online, so I teach course careers, which is aiming to be the world's cheapest and best boot camp really. But again, we follow the same path. We teach you industry ready skills. So these weren't about when I started. Um, so the first thing you need is it's, it's a body of knowledge or it's, it's a path. Uh, you, you can go around down the YouTube route, you can learn it yourself. And that's something that above and beyond my um, university course, I, I learned a lot by the Photoshop guys in the early days, in the early days of YouTube, I, I, I went above and beyond and learned quite a lot of stuff like that. But the, the good thing about these boot camps and the course, careers course, is it gives you kind of like a structured path to, to learn the skills. But learning the skills, really, uh, it's, it's, it's not the most important thing. It's something that you need. You need to put, you know, a couple hundred hours really into learning the foundations of the skill before you can then uh, start to get a job. And, and that's probably where I, my advice will help you now. And now that's actually getting the hardest thing you'll do in your career is go from basically a um, student to a, a junior in, in whatever it is, because then you're a professional in that field. And it's much easier to move up in a company once you get that first role. So. Uh, this advice is good whether there's loads of jobs on the market or there's no jobs on the market. And this is we need to be truthful here and we need to face the facts that no one is going to give you anything. So bear that in mind that we need to take it all ourselves. We need to basically self-promote ourselves as much as possible. And this is something that I learned uh, in university. Actually, we did like a self-promotion course which was really, uh, which was really good. It was a module within the course, uh, but I really took that to the extreme. Back in the day, I used to put my portfolio on a USB pen, and this is when they cost, you know, ten, twenty dollars a USB pen. And I, I went down to London and I actually handed these physical things out. Um, we used to have a printed portfolio, and I used to try and um, like knock on physical doors of offices and go and talk to art directors. So. Uh, the, the thing is, if you, you, you think about this, when you've got the skills, if you, if you apply for a job uh, through a board like LinkedIn or Indeed Jobs, there's going to be a uh, hundred other people like, like you, probably with the same basic skill set, uh, applying for these roles. So your job, and this is the thing that I've learned, is to make yourself stand out. And that means you need to go the extra 10% above what everyone's doing. And there's a couple of ways you can do that. So uh, I, I think internships are really good. I, I kind of view them as like a step, uh, kind of like a back step into the door. That's how I actually got my first role. So I did an internship at British Vogue, 
that was a two-week internships. Now, now these things you you can you can go on LinkedIn, you can find the internships, but also please, you you you've got to present yourself, and you've got to promote yourself, and you've got to really try hard to represent yourself. And that means getting on the phone, it means calling up companies, it means talking to art directors or UX directors or head of UX, getting them on LinkedIn, send the messages, going for coffees in real life, uh, networking. That's the key to getting yourself an internship and eventually a junior position you probably need to do the internship first because no one's going to want to hire someone for a job with no experience inside an office and that's why i think internships are good um you know you might be in your 20s or your 30s and think you're above an internship or you're too old for an internship but maybe even if you could just help help out virtually a couple of hours a week a company it's well worth the time you put in because you're going to be making those connections and then when a junior role or a role does come up within that company you're going to be the first person they go to because you've got experience with the company you know people you'll have friends in there um and, and that's how i got my job within common so I, I worked for british vogue i went into work experience but then within the building there was other magazines i went down and introduced myself to the art directors i explained that i was looking for more work experience and my goal during those two weeks was to get internships in um, in the other companies, really. And I, I rolled that on for, I probably did like over 12 weeks in total of work experience over the next couple of years. I used to go back every summer. But the people I met during those internships, when a job eventually came up in Wired, um, I, I knew the art director because I'd worked with him in, in, um, in GQ before. And, and, he, and that was another magazine within the company. And he said, oh, there's a junior role. You'll be perfect for it. Do you want it? And there was no one else going for it. So I, I got that role through my connections. And that's kind of why I say it doesn't really matter what's going on in the wider industry because you're not trying to get 100 jobs. You're trying to get one job. And to get that one job, you know, you'll still need to beat someone else. So whether that's one or 100 people, I want you to be the top of the list going in there, going above and beyond Um doing everything that they don't do and and how you do that really is you offer value you offer uh, you need to prove your skills and you need to offer value to the company and and put those in put those deposits in before expecting anything back people expect things back too quickly nowadays they think they're going to do a course and they're going to get a job quickly at the end of it they think they're going to do a you know a degree get a job straight away that that doesn't happen my degree guaranteed me nothing. I left with a degree. I then had to go and do all the self-promotion myself and get myself the internships. And that's what you're going to have to do. Please, nothing is given to you. No one cares. You, you have to represent yourself. And that's why I'm saying, uh, this, this is the advice that I'd give to myself going back. I'd say, be selfish. I'd say, look after yourself, promote yourself, make as many connections as you can, build that network up. It's never been easier. You're going to have LinkedIn over the next 10 years. You don't need to call people anymore. You might be able to send them emails, go in mass, try and get as many people, try and um, even say, can I have a chat to you for 10 minutes for a coffee? You know, one in 10 might respond. And then you go down that route and then you, you'll eventually hopefully get yourself an internship at the end of something or even some work that you can put in your portfolio for, for real clients even local businesses, going to talk to them, explaining to them what your skill set is, uh, can you offer them any, uh, I don't know, seeing what value you can offer other people. The more real work you're going to get in your portfolio, the better it's going to look, and the more connections you have with people in industry, in real life. They're just people like me. I read every email I get, I read every LinkedIn message. I might not respond to them all, but people will see your message. And if you go above and beyond, people um, feel obliged to send you messages like no one's ever sent to me a video I, i'll get a message on linkedin of say 10 people a day uh, but but no one will ever record a video of themselves say hey anthony um my name's steve i'm, I'm an up-and-coming ux designer can i have 10 minutes to talk to you and, and then sending me that as a video on youtube or something you know, something you know thinking above and beyond the box or or say oh can i help you out on your youtube channel can i like offering me something rather than just taking from people all the time don't don't expect the senior designers in the company to give you something you need to offer them something in return and be the person pushing out all this stuff into the world and that's what i would do if i would start again i think it really doesn't matter everyone's going to have the same basic skill sets 
But what will make you stand out and get a, a career in the field is um, looking after yourself, really, promoting yourself, going above and beyond, making connections, and, and kind of getting in the back door rather than applying with everyone else. And that will work in whatever industry you want and whatever time, whenever times are tough. There, there will always be, even if it's 10% of the companies are hiring, you only need one job. So I hope that helps. <laughs> Keep bizarre. And if you want to learn the skills from me, um, then check out course careers. I, I teach the UI UX course there. We learn the basic skills that you need. And then hopefully I try and teach you the skills of self-promotion along the way, self-confidence, uh, presenting your work and how you can go above and beyond and stand out. So keep designing. What's the next video if you want to learn more about UI UX design?